Season 3 is finally here on NBA 2K25, and if you know anything about my channel, when new seasons drop on NBA 2K25, I tend to give out the top 5 builds at the time to keep you guys updated, whether you know you need a new point guard, shooting guard, lockdown, popper, or footer. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty basic. I got 5 builds for you. The chapters are below. All I can ask from you guys is to hit that subscribe button, turn the post notification bell on, drop a like while you're down there, and just let me know how your day is going. But anyways, we gotta get straight to it. Let's go ahead and get into the first build which is going to be a 5'9 point guard. So the 5'9 that we will be going with is going to be for, you know, threes, stage, proving grounds, pro-am, whatever it is. It's going to be a 5'9 guard, so it's very niche on this game. Not a lot of people are able to use 5'9 point guards, but if you can get it down, trust me, you're going to be one of the greatest on the game. I mean, the separation between 5'9 guards and 6'2 or 6'4, even 6'6 is insane. 5'9, weight 175 pounds, wingspan we're going to be going 6-1 let's go ahead and press continue and we're going to go all the way down to the physicals as usual because that's what i do for my build videos our speed is going to be at an 89 our agility is going to be at an 86 strength we're going to go ahead and put it up to a 50 and then our vertical is going to stay at a 60 this is going to be good baseline but i want to make something clear with the plus one cap breaker you get from the season we are going to put it on speed if you do have it you know from the battle pass to make it a 90 speed but if you don't have it then it's fine we're going to use it on different attributes it's all good we could go ahead and go up to our shooting since we are on a you know point guard i like to start off with shooting on point guards obviously we're gonna have a 94 three-point shot basically every point guard that's 5962 whatever it is is gonna have a 99 three-point but we're gonna put it at 94 so that we put plus five cap breakers from our rep reward starter three so we can get 99 three-point shot that's gonna allow us to get legend dead eye legend limitless legend mini marksman set shot specialist and shifty shooter all these badges on legend you're gonna be one of the best shooters on the game like no doubt about it again plus five cap breakers on your three-point shot free throw put it up to a 77 and then mid-range we're not going to do anything to it if you do not have cab breakers yet i know we're about to be in december but maybe you just picked up the game and you're watching this video and you need to build just put it to a 94 for now and then once you get your cab breakers because starter three is pretty easy to hit in my opinion you'll be just fine you can apply your cab breakers later it's not a big issue but yeah having the legend shooting badges is going to be very helpful and even if you you know don't have the cab breakers yet and you're not starter three you just have a 94 three point they still work on gold you're still going to be able to shoot pretty well going down to our playmaking we're going to want to have a 95 ball handle our speedball ball is going to be a 94 and then we are going to have an 85 pass accuracy i'm not gonna lie these stats are looking solid let me explain everything real quick so 85 pass act i mean it's a no-brainer you want to be able to you know throw dots across the court you want to throw dots to your corner to your wing you want to make sure every slip goes through 100 percent and i mean if you play rec or 5v5 with this build which you 100 percent can you know you got the 77 free throw you're going to be able to make really good passes and additionally to that we get bronze bailout bronze versatile visionary silver break starter and gold dimer i mean these badges right here are going to be good for business you could also put a plus max one on your dimer to make a hall of fame but that's up to you that's your tier two badge but bailout and versatile visionary these two badges right here are very very good bailout it's been in 2k for so many years we know what it does you attempt a bad shot you pass out of it it's gonna go to your teammate directly in their hands but versatile visionary is kind of like special delivery from older 2ks it works like a charm i'm gonna be honest with you guys especially alley-oops like having the badge between not having the badge like the difference in that is actually insane and then we got break starter on silver which we're not going to be using much and then dimer is self-explanatory we got a 95 ball handle for every single sig in the game because you know that you get all of the sigs unlocked at 95 ball handle this has been a thing for years and you know when you do hit that starter for you will get steve france's signature size up with a 95 ball handle but we do get hall of fame ankle assassin Hall of Fame handles for days and gold unpluggable. Now, when I tell you Hall of Fame Ankle Assassin is probably one of the most low key badges in the game. I mean, literally, there are so many people out there that could just make you shake ass if you know they're on a build with Ankle Assassin, even like above gold. It's low key underrated. Handles for days, you don't need anything more than Hall of Fame. I've tried it on Legend, and I mean, it's basically the same thing. And then unpluggable, I mean, steals aren't that crazy in this game. You should be just fine. Just, you know, dribble the ball well, don't get plucked, and you're gonna be fine. 94 speed with ball. This is gonna give us that legend lightning launch now if you want more attributes elsewhere you could go 91 and then just put a plus one max badge on lightning launch to make it legend but we're on a 5.9 we have plenty of attributes to go around legend lightning launch is going to be good for business and also you get to run around the court at a very very fast pace you know i personally like legend lightning launch i think it's a good badge but 
you know, it's completely up to you. But yeah, 85 pass sack, 95 ball handle, 94 sweep of ball. I do not see a world where this goes wrong for you guys. Just make sure you have it and you're going to be just fine. Now, going to our defense, we got a 40 interior defense, but wait till you see our perimeter in steel. Our perimeter, we got a 95 perimeter, which this is just insane. And then our steel is going to be at a 94. I mean, the build is looking insane. Block, we got a 42. No Doug. Offensive rebound, 25. Defensive rebound, 52. And that's going to, you know, round off the defensive end like interior and block we're on a 5-9 we're not gonna have much O board d board again same thing the d board we're gonna get a little bit of a chance to get a rebound but again it's only a 52 perimeter defense 95 this is insane if you use this build on twos threes if you're you know mismatched in the wreck like you're gonna be fine when it comes to guarding defense like again i know it's a 5-9 you guys are gonna go into the comment section and say oh i'm playing against a 5-9 that's barbecue chicken like i'm literally just going to score on him every time trust me it's not like that just because it's a small guard does not mean that you're just gonna body through him we got hall of fame challenger we got gold on ball menace gold pig dodger and hall of fame off ball pass which literally doesn't matter but this hall of fame challenger is so good in this game and then on ball menace it allows you to bump him a little bit get a little bumpy pig dodger you're gonna be slithering through every single screen since you're a five nine i mean this trifecta of badges is gonna help you out very much obviously we don't get immovable enforcer since you know this is a five nine but regardless i'm telling y'all bro on ball menace very good badge in this game the challenger is okay but at the hall of fame level it's gonna work really well well, you'll be fine 94 steel we got gold glove hall of fame interceptor now obviously with the steals patch in this game that happened you know weeks ago or maybe months ago at this point interceptor is not the greatest badge in the game anymore but you're still gonna get lanes if they're wide open i mean like there's no point to go 99 steel anymore on a point guard you know it used to be super op when lanes were messed up but you know hall of fame interceptor does the job but gold glove i've been getting more rips recently with you know gold glove and hall of fame glove so i'm starting to think that the badge is getting a little better day by day but at the end of the day it's always good to have these badges in your back pocket when you start to get into that pickpocket but these are the defensive stats for this build again like it's a 5-9 guard you're not going to be getting much uh, we already have like a huge amount of perimeter in steel we could go ahead and round this build off on the finishing end we got a 72 driving dunk which is going to allow us to get some packages and it's going to round off the build we do not get malik monk dunk package on this build but we do get a couple good animations and we also get an 80 driving layup for trey young layup package one thing that i noticed on nba 2 get 25 is you do not need a lot of layup to actually make them in the game i mean i i literally have a 75 layup on most of my builds i turn on low risk low reward and i make majority of them i'm gonna be honest like there's a rare time where i miss them unless they're like a very tight or a tight oh you know we got aerial wizard float game and layup mix master so it's gonna help us out a little bit driving dunk we're not gonna get any badges but at the same time 72 driving dunk is still a good amount like you're not gonna be you know doing lame dunks get a good amount of animations you just gotta find what what works for you but this 5-9 build i'm not gonna lie it's looking crazy one more time as a reminder i mean it's on the screen the whole time plus five cab breakers on three point and then if you get an extra cab breaker for the season go ahead and do 90 speed it's gonna be so good for you but we could go from top to bottom 80 driving layup 72 driving dunk we got a 94 three point obviously 99 after the cab breakers 85 pass sack 95 ball handle 94 speed with ball 95 perimeter and a 94 steal i honestly think there's like three very good 5-9 builds out there and this is one of them so if if you need a new build for 3v3 2v2 rack proving ground stage whatever it is i mean as long as you're good at the game or you try and get good at the game you're going to be very good with this build let's go ahead and press x press continue and i mean like point guards only got one name on this game i mean let's be real i thought we we're going to have a lot of archetype names this year sadly what i think it's going to be is a two-way three level shot creator and of course i'm right but anyways i mean we could go ahead and get on to our next build the 5-9 is going to be very deadly for you guys go ahead and make it so now for our next build it's going Going to be more of a you know 2v2 build 1v1 build that could actually work on the 3v3 it's really up to you guys but it's gonna be a little 6-4 fat iso build but you guys are going to see what i'm talking about it's gonna have high strength high midi but regardless we got to get into it point guard 6-4 height 230 pounds six foot six wingspan let's go ahead and press x press continue and we go to our speed we got an 85 speed we got a good amount of speed here our agility is going to be up to a 90 our strength is going to be at a 93 if i could put it to a 93 you know it's a little bit hard to use these sliders and 55 vertical now real quick we got to talk about the 93 strength before we get into any other attributes i mean it is a huge amount of strength we get to you know stop post scores in the paint we get to guard ball we get to do a lot of good things 93 strength is amazing on a 6-4 fat point guard anyways we could go ahead and go to our mid-range shot you know this build is actually not going to have a lot of three point 
as you might think we got a 94 midi our three point is going to be a 75 and that's it we're not going to touch anything else but we are going to be putting five cab breakers on your mid-range shot so that this build has a 99 midi and honestly you guys are thinking whoa iso ninja build no three point what's going on but 99 midi on a twos build especially a build like this one or even in the ones it is insane and you get a bunch of badges on legend like dead eye set shot specialist and shifty shooter obviously you don't get many marksmen because you know you are 6'4 and you don't get limitless range but again if you're playing ones or twos you're not really shooting from limitless that's more of a threes and fives things but again plus five cap breakers on midi that legend dead eye is going to go crazy especially with shifty shooter you you know pair that up with pro 2 dribble pull up and you're going to be a okay 75 three point shot now you guys might be thinking you know me personally i'm a three point shooter i you know advise a lot of people to shoot a lot of threes on nba 2k 25 75 three point you could do it especially if you rhythm shoot and you find a good jump shot but you're six four so you have access to a lot of jump shots you should be able to make them obviously you're not going to be you know hitting from deep but you know close to the line especially corners you're going to be able to green them especially with legend shooting badges i don't really see a problem but 99 midi after the cap breakers and again 94 midi if you do not have cap breakers is pretty good 75 three point 69 free throw now we could go ahead and go down to ball handle we are going to have a 92 ball handle our speed with ball is going to be an 86 and then our pass accuracy is going to be a 71 and you know we got to have 71 pass act just in case you play twos which is going to give us that silver dimer and bronze break starter but you know we don't got any other badges to talk about for pass act. all i got to say about it is that you're going to be throwing dots 71 pass act is not as low as you think like last year maybe you know you're throwing a lot of passes with a 70 pass act but this year i'm not gonna lie there are some bullets being thrown a 70 pass like we got 92 ball handle which is gonna give us that legend strong handle now this badge when you are running through someone or someone's trying to bump you it's literally impossible because you have this badge on legend and that's where the 93 strength comes in but 92 ball handle you also do get some pretty decent six you don't get steve francis but i mean trey young signature size up works just well we got silver ankle assassin which you're gonna you know get a little bit of stuns some people are gonna touch earth sometimes it's not as good as gold or hall of fame but at the silver level it is okay Okay, we got handles for days on gold and unpluckable on gold. These two, very good badges. Me personally, I might want to plus one the handles for days to Hall of Fame, but that's completely up to you. But man, I'm telling you, you just got to try the strong handle badge it's really really good now we got an 86 speed with ball which is going to give us lightning launch on gold you could also plus one this to hall of fame instead of you know handles for days or whatever else you want to hall of fame lightning launch is going to be very good for you if you want to do that but gold i mean again you're playing twos and ones it's kind of slower paced you might not need to do it it's really all up to you at the end of the day it is your build you could tweak it how you want me personally i'll probably put on hall of fame lightning launch but we got 71 pass act 92 ball handle 86 speed with ball i'm telling y'all that strong handle it's something different Different. now going to our defense we got a 92 perimeter defense our interior is going to be an 80 i don't know why i skipped interior our steel is going to be a 73 and then our block is going to be maxed out at a 63 for our rebounding we're going to max them both out 75 and 71 and that's going to be our defensive stats so i mean 80 interior it speaks for itself if you want to try and get a stop on a post score in this game especially if you play 1v1 court and you play against someone cheesing on like a 6 7 6 8 drop stepping shooting guard this is going to help you out quite a bit especially with 93 strength and 80 interior you know try your best to get animations i know drop stepping is still stupidly overpowered in this game but hopefully you know it treats you well we don't get any you know interior badges since they're all six five and taller but you know the stat is what matters at the end of the day we got a 92 perimeter which man 92 perimeter on a 230 pound six four you're going to be getting bumpy we got gold challenger which is okay gold on ball menace very good badge you're going to get really bumpy on the opponent pick dodger you're going to be eating those screens, trust me. And then a movable in 4C. You could plus one this to Legend. And I don't know why a movable is a tier two badge. Having it on Legend or, you know, Hall of Fame, whatever plus one that you think of, it's crazy. It should be a tier one badge for sure. But I mean, you're just going to be playing God tier defense. And then off ball pest is honestly irrelevant. But these badges right here, I mean, they're, they're going to treat you well when you're playing defense. We got 73 steel, which is going to give us bronze glove and silver interceptor right here. There's not much to talk about. I mean, bronze glove, you're going to get steals maybe every now and then. And then silver interceptor. I mean, if the other point guard throws a slip on the twos, you might be able to get something done with it. You know, maybe a little lane if you play it perfectly. But again, steals are very, very bad right now in 2K25 and not in a, you know, good way. We got 63 block, not going to give us anything, but maybe, you know, you could jump a little high, get a block. It's really, you know, 
up to you how you play your defense 71 o board 75 d board we got silver box out beast and bronze rebound chase you should be able to jump up and grab plenty of rebounds and i'm not gonna lie 71 o board is actually really good in this game 75 d board is whatever but you know getting your own rebounds if you're mashing or if you're you know you just get a good animation you actually do get it majority of the time and especially you know bronze rebound chaser it might seem low to you guys but that's really all you need on a point guard this year all right now going up top to our finishing to round this build off we have a 70 driving dunk and a 41 sanding dunk that's gonna round off this build and i mean man this is looking insane 77 driving layup that's gonna give us bronze physical finisher silver float game and layup mix master i'm not 100 sure what good layup package you get because you don't get trey young obviously we don't have an 80 someone can maybe tell me down in the comment section below what the driving layup packages are for 75 i'm pretty sure you could just use default small but regardless they're gonna go in anyway driving dunk we got a 70 rating we talked about this on the 5-9 guard you're gonna be able to just get regular dunks off and the animations that you get are pretty good you're obviously not going to be doing you know 360 contact dunks but at the same time 70 is going to be more than enough for you to just get regular dunks and then 41 standing dunk if you you know are in a situation where you need to get a standing you should be able to get it but this 1v1 2v2 build is looking insane you could put it on threes if you want you know i personally wouldn't recommend it but that's completely up to you top to bottom 77 driving layup 70 driving dunk 99 mid-range after the plus five cat breakers 75 three points 71 pass sack 92 ball handle 86 people ball we got an 80 interior 92 perimeter 73 steal at 63 block 71 o board 75 d board with a 93 strength i mean you guys can let me know down in the comment section what you think about this build i mean a 99 midi ones and twos build it's it's just insane like it's one of the best guard builds in the game that's not you know your traditional 99 3 95 ball handle build let's go ahead press continue see what we got here i'm telling y'all bro i try and give you guys the soup whenever i I can i mean this is a very good build we got the two a mid-range specialist and you're just gonna enjoy it so when i did my last top five build video and i put a lockdown and you guys were flaming me because i gave you guys a six six lock and i'm pretty sure when the top comments were yo why didn't we get a six four lock they're very good you talk about them all the time and like i was like okay chill the next time i do a top five build video i'm gonna give one of the best six four locks because honestly six four locks are really good it's just me personally i prefer using a six six or six seven but again at the end of the day that's all personal preference so small forward position six foot four 222 pounds with a 611 wingspan let's go ahead and press x press continue and go down to these physicals now it's a 64 lock so we got a lot of attributes to go around we got a 92 speed with a 92 agility our strength is going to be at an 85 so this 64 lock actually does have some strength you know i think 71 or 73 strength but this one got a 85 and then 62 vertical now we want to use one of our season cap breakers plus one cap breakers on speed if you have it but it's a 93 but again you know it's not very important whether you have it or not but like if you do have it it's going to help you out quite a bit 93 speed is just insane and it helps with a couple badges but make sure to copy these physicals down we could go to our defense we got a 56 interior defense our perimeter is going to be at a 97 if i could put it to that and then our steel is going to be at a 96 you already know what we're going to do with this it, you, you just know it's literally textbook block is going to be at a 68 we're not going to do anything to offensive rebound but our defensive rebound is going to be a 60 so we're going to be putting two cap breaks on perimeter and three on steel so we could have 99 perimeter and 99 steel because when you are a 6-4 lockdown you want to make sure that you have both of the attributes at 99 but 56 interior kind of irrelevant we don't really get much 99 perimeter we get literally every single badge on legend beside a movable of course but we could plus one that's a hall of fame legend challenger legend on ball menace legend pig dodger it's it's gonna be a movie when you're guarding the pnr as long as you got good stick which i mean you should you're a 6-4 with 92 or 90 93 speed depending if you have that cat breaker you should be able to guard ball pretty well i played on a couple six four locks this year and me personally i don't know i feel like i can't get bumpy on them compared to six six or six seven that's why i like to give six sixes out but six four locks i mean the demand for them is so high especially because you can get patty mills but 99 perimeter is going to be what you're going to want to need but 97 you know if you don't have your cat breakers yet it still works very well i know a lot of lockdowns out there that you know used a build like this before they hit starter three and they were put in about to ass i mean you got to understand that we got a 96 steel which is going to turn into a 99 after the cab break is for legend glove and legend interceptor but i gotta be honest i mean those badges at legend don't really mean much this year love i'd say it's pretty good but interceptor i mean that badge just got killed every time we play on a defensive build i gotta you know tell you about that because interceptor is cooked bro i miss how it was it was super op but now you know when 2k tones something down it gets toned down a lot but legend glove should treat you well we got 68 block for that bronze high flying denier so if there's any you know scenario where you're chasing someone down to the paint 
it with your 6-4 lock. I don't really know if that's going to happen, but maybe you get a LeBron chase down every now and then. Offensive rebound at 25, 60 defensive rebound for box out beast and rebound chaser on bronze. So you could get rebounds every now and then, but don't count on it too often because again, I got to say this 6-4 lock, you're not going to be getting too many rebounds. But that's, you know, the highlight of the build, to be honest. I mean, the 99 perimeter and 99 steel, 68 block, we could go ahead go up to our playmaking so we're not going to change anything to ball handle or speed with ball we're just going to put our pass accuracy up to a 55 it's kind of low in my opinion but i mean we're not going to be passing the ball too much especially if we use this build on threes or maybe in the fives but again you're going to be a 6-4 lock you grabbing the rebound and throwing it down on the break is not going to happen too much but at least you do get bronze dimer in case you need to run an off ball screen or whatever it is 72 ball handle it's not really going to give you much i mean handles for days strong handle silver unpluckable bronze it is what it is 77 speed with ball we do get silver lightning launch i mean you're gonna be able to dribble around a little bit but again playmaking is pretty irrelevant on a build like this just you know enjoy the pass act a little bit of dribbling it's all good we got an 89 three-point shot and an 82 free throw we're not gonna do anything to our midi but this is very important that we have a high three point on a 6-4 lock because for one we can we are allowed to have a high three point and for two, we need jump shot bases like Patty Mills. I mean, Patty Mills is going to be very important on a build like this. If you don't have Patty, I mean, I literally dropped a jump shot video two days ago. You could go ahead and use some of those jump shots or just, you know, throw on Cam Thomas, double Oscar and call it a day. We get silver dimer, silver limitless, gold set shot and silver shifty shooter. The amount of shots I see getting like, you know, taken on a 6-4 lock are insane, especially in like the competitive scene. Man, 6-4 locks, if you're good at it, you could get a lot of shots off because you have all these badges and a high three-point shot i mean it's actually insane 79 midi it's going to be pointless to us but 82 free throw if you want to bring this bone to the fives it's definitely going to be possible you know to shoot a free throw every now and then but that's the shooting on this build i mean like i just love the shooting badges very good for business we can round this build off on our finishing we got a 65 driving dunk and a 64 standing if i could put it up to a 64 and then i forgot our offensive rebound goes up to 26 but that's going to round off this build 65 driving dunk 64 standing it's pretty baseline for 6-4 locks if you want more you could adjust the build it's up to you but again you get good animations you're going to be able to dunk the ball but at the same time not a lot of 6-4 locks are really dunking unless they're running the break a lot of people tend to you know get the ball fade out the corner fade out the wing because that's the kind of game that we play this year 64 standing dunk you get i think two standing dunk animations so you should be able to get on that rim pretty easily but i'm telling you bro the 6-4 locks you get a lot of attributes they look very good we can run this build top to bottom 65 driving dunk 64 standing standing 79 midi 89 three point 82 free throw 55 pass x 72 ball handle 77 speed with ball with a 99 perimeter and a 99 steal after the cat breakers of course but this build is still good without them 68 block 60 d board and then a 93 speed if you do have the cat breaker for it this build is looking deadly man if you need a new lockdown especially you know now with the six fours being so op go ahead and make this we could go ahead press continue and lockdowns they got like two names i'm gonna be honest with you in this one you already know what the name is going to be it's going to be a three and d wing i mean i wish we could have you know a variety of names but we all kind of make the same builds so i mean i see why let's go ahead and get on to our next build so the next build i'm going to be giving you guys is an inside center and i know you guys are probably like wait where is our popper you know we want a popper but to be honest the last time i gave you guys a popper i was getting flamed in the comments like yo no one's using a popper anymore it's either an inside center at six nine or people are using footers like there's no six seven poppers being used anymore which you know i could agree to disagree my boy bz be put in b2a if you know you know but you know i could give you guys a 6-9 inside center build this is going to be deadly so center position six foot nine 254 pounds with a 7-5 wingspan go ahead press x press continue go down to the physicals like do i gotta say it every time or do you guys know the vibes already hit the like button if you do hit the subscribe button if you know the vibes i just gotta know we got an 80 speed 74 agility our strength is going to be at a 91 which it's not going to have a 95 strength which you guys might think and then our vertical is going to be a 90 and i'm telling you 90 vert on a center is insane but these are going to be our baseline physicals for this build it is a center so i mean we could go ahead and go to our defense we got 78 interior our perimeter is going to be at an 85 rating our steel is also going to be at an 85 our block's going to be all the way up at a 92 because it's an inside center we got to get blocky a little bit and then we have a 94 offensive rebound which i feel like you can think what we're going to do already and a 90 defensive rebound so plus five cap breakers we're going to be using it on offensive rebound so we could get that 
that 99 rebound and then your season plus one if you have it put it on defensive rebound so you have a 91 defensive rebound but we gotta go back to our defense before we talk about our rebounding so 78 interior we're gonna get silver pain patroller and bronze post lockdown so if you're gonna get you know posted up in the paint by a 73 post score the interior is gonna help you out a little bit but it's gonna be more of your block but at least we do get the badges to you know stop layups and try and stop dunks things like that you know at least we have something 85 perimeter if you have to you know guard ball if you and your lockdown or your point guard switch for whatever reason you do have silver challenger you do have gold and movable enforcer the only problem is you have bronze on ball menace and bronze pick dodger but again you know you switching with your point guard your lockdown whatever it is it's not going to be a every possession occurrence so you know every now and then having to guard ball with these badges is not going to be too bad as long as you got stick you're going to be just fine you're going to get bumpy with that immovable enforcer 85 steel we get silver glove gold interceptor now i'm not gonna lie silver glove on centers is actually not bad i don't know what it is with positions but i feel like badges work differently at different positions don't quote me on that but i mean i've seen a lot of centers that have low glove tiers they be ripping everything when i come up the court it's actually insane and then the gold interceptor it's okay you're gonna go lane every now and then just make sure you know you have the perfect timing for it 92 block we get high flying deny on hall of fame now this badge is a new badge to 2k25 but i'm sure we all know what it is already high flying denier is so overpowered i'm not gonna lie like it's nothing like 2k21 current gen blocks but i mean you still get a good amount of blocks. It's really good for business. Just make sure you're jumping at the right time and you're gonna be good. Now, as I said before, we're putting plus five cat breakers on O board, plus one on D board. So we're gonna have legend badges when it comes to rebounding. That's gonna be box out beast and rebound chaser. Those two badges at the legend, you know, tier, especially as an inside center, it's just deadly. And we got gold pogo stick. But again, if you do not have your cat breakers right now, this build is just fine with the badges on hall of fame and gold. You just gotta grind out that starter three which is really easy with the amount of double rep events but these are the defensive stats for this build just copy them down and we could go up to the pass act it's looking insane like inside centers i like playing with them every now and then and you know especially with attributes like that we got a 65 pass act 46 ball handle and this people ball you're not going to change 65 pass act we do get break starter on bronze and dimer on bronze which you know people might want a little bit more pass act but i think this is all you need you know just throw the ball down the court you might have to throw an off ball every now and then 65 is going to throw some dots 46 ball handle and 50 speed ball is not going to give you much but you know it's an inside center we're not here to talk about the playmaking for our shooting literally just put midi to 40 and free throw to 40 that's all we got to do but to round off this build we need to go to our finishing since it is an inside center we got a 76 driving dunk our standing dunk is going to be at an 85 post shot put it to an 80 layup put it to a 65 and the post control to a 62 and that's going to round off this build but 85 standing dunk let me tell you about this silver rise up right here if you plus one this to gold tier two badge you're gonna be deadly especially with the standing dunk animations we get i mean literally just hold square and you're gonna get the dunk every single time we also got a 76 driving dunk which is gonna give us a couple animations one that i could think off the top of my head is clay thompson but i'm sure you get a lot of other good ones we get you know bronze post riser gold aerial wizard so the bronze post riser is gonna help getting you know slight contact dunks a slight little bit of contact but obviously you're not gonna be getting you know very op windmill contact dunks that put people on the floor now this in Inside center i would love to play with a build like this on twos you know threes as well this build great for business you could also play this at the five and rec honestly like you know people might disagree with me on that but it's an inside center so you could go ahead and run them at the five if you want we got a 75 driving dunk 85 standing dunk 65 pass sack 78 interior 85 perimeter 85 steel 92 block 94 offensive rebound which is going to be 99 after the cab breakers and then we get a 91 defensive rebound if you have the extra season you know pass cab breaker if not just keep it at a 90 but y'all gotta let me know what you think about this inside center build down below i don't usually give inside centers because i typically like to you know give poppers since they're more diverse but i figured yo why not let me just give an inside center for you guys let's see what name we came up with and it's going to be a two-way interior threat hey man if y'all need an inside at six nine definitely go ahead and make this build now for the last build i know you guys need a footer on this game you know footers are so op we can make this one quick center position at seven foot on the height 243 pounds with a seven foot six wings Span. go ahead press continue we're gonna have a 70 speed on this one we got to start with our physicals you know the vibes already we got a 59 agility our strength is going to be at a 91 and then our vertical is going to be at an 83 and i mean footers just have so many attributes in this game it's low-key insane but we could go to our defense because it's a footer why not we got an 88 interior defense 40 perimeter 43 steel and then our block is going to be at a 93 rating i mean hella block offensive rebound is going to be at a 94 which i think you can you know 
guess what we're going to do already and then our defensive rebound at an 85 so 88 interior defense we're going to get paid patroller on gold post move lockdown on gold these two badges together i mean you're not really going to get laid up on you're not going to get drop stepped people are going to be scared of you when running into the paint these two badges together work wonders we got a 40 perimeter and a 43 steel literally going to do nothing for you but the 93 block high flying denier you jump out of the paint someone's going up on you you're sending the ball to uganda that's all i gotta say can't say too much other than that it's just the truth high block in this game is so good especially on a toddler center i mean it's literally chef's kiss offensive rebound 94 you know what we're gonna do you know what i'm gonna say plus five cap breakers to 99 so you can get legend box out beast and legend rebound chaser you know having it on 94 without cap breakers is cool but once you do get those cap breakers or if you already have them which i'm sure majority of you do 99 offensive rebound is going to be mandatory and we also do get gold pogo stick and then 85 defensive rebound you're as seven footer so you're going to be jumping out the rim regardless but again after you do have the legend badges it's going to make your life a whole lot easier plus five cap breakers on offensive rebound just remember that pass accuracy we are going to be putting it to an 86 but if you do have the plus one cab breaker from the season pass we're going to be putting it to an 87 so we can get an extra badge ball handle 51 speed with ball 30 so 86 pass act we do get bronze bailout silver break starter which that plus ones give us gold break starter bronze versatile visionary and gold dimer silver break starter is cool but you do need that gold i'm not gonna lie to you bailout i don't think we'll be using much or versatile visionary but break starter and dimer these two badges you're going to be using a lot on a footer just make sure you have that plus one cap breaker so it's on gold silver break starter is okay but the difference between silver and gold when it comes to that badge is insane we could go ahead and go to our shooting we got a 77 three point with an 80 midi we should be just fine with this shooting and then free throw we could put it up to a 70 but you should get good bases with the 80 midi and 77 three point the thing about footer jump shots this year is you need a pretty low requirement to get like most of the bases and uppers which kind of surprised me but 80 midi is going to give us bronze dead eye bronze post fade phenom and silver set shot specialist so you know shooting on footer is skill gap i got to be honest with you guys it is not the easiest thing to do in the world but if you master it and you become one of the best shooters in the game the badges and midi is going to help you out 77 three point it is quite a bit for footer i'm not going to lie to you guys so you know you should be able to shoot the pill and then you got 70 free throw if you ever get sent to the line if you need footer jump shots i posted a jump shot video two three days ago has two footer jump shots in there if you make this build you just go ahead and try them out now for our finishing we got a 73 driving dunk our saying dunk's going to be an 81 put our close shot up to an 84 and that's going to round off this build i mean footers get so many attributes in this game we got attributes literally everywhere but 84 close shot is going to give us that silver paint prodigy you know if you need to drop step and you don't get the standing dunk the close shot's going to help you out quite a bit we got 73 driving dunk if you're down the break for some reason on your footer and you're going to get on that rim 73 driving dunk we get a couple different badges and we also do get aerial wizard on silver so you can get on that rim if someone throws you a lob but 81 standing dunk is what we're here to talk about that rise up on silver is insane and especially you know with standing dunk and you try and master meter dunking you're literally going to be unstoppable on the paint it's going to be back to back dunks every single time i mean you know footers doing meter dunks standing dunks it, it's been a thing for the past two three years it's super op especially if you learn it but i mean this is going to be the footer build on mb 2k25 the one i'm going to give you guys y'all let me know how it is in the comment section top to bottom 84 close shot 73 dunk 81 standing dunk 80 midi 77 three point 70 free throw 86 pass act 88 interior 93 block with a 99 o board after the cab breakers and an 85 defensive rebound y'all just gotta let me know how you think about this footer what you would change to it you know obviously footers aren't my strong suit but this build is pretty solid let's go ahead and press x press continue and see what we got here it looks like we got a versatile enforcer again just go ahead and make this build trust me it works twos threes wreck whatever it is so that's gonna be the top five builds of season three of nba 2k25 i mean we got some variety we got the 5-9 we got the 6-4 fat pg 6-4 lock 6-9 inside center and then a footer y'all gotta let me know what build was your favorite if you're gonna make any of these and honestly what you would tweak to any of them if you saw something that's like oh maybe i should change an attribute there here whatever it is you know people in the comment section really do like to look at that and you know add their own thoughts again if you did enjoy the video and it did help you out man just make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the post notification bell we are on the road to 50k i hope you guys had a great day today and a great rest of your day i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one i'm out peace